Barbershop is ready to reopen after the state released the new guidelines for certain indoor businesses. Elizabeth Alvarez has moved to the King of Fades Barbershop. And we're getting the, the barber pole wow. spin there. Hey, Liz. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. I, know I love looking at it. The barbershop pole light is on. It's spinning, indicating barbershops have reopened. And yes, we are here at the King of Fades Barbershop right on National City, uh, in the heart of National City. And I'm with the king himself. This right here is the guy who runs the show. Uh, can we call you King David? You are King David. King David Martinez, he is the owner here. First of all, congratulations on being able to reopen. It's been a pretty rough five and a half months for so many business owners. You've right. gone from being open to being closed to being open again, sort of, to having closed and here we are again. So how are you feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling good. You know, we're, we're back up and running. Uh, you know, not, not the barbers aren't here yet, but they will be today and they're excited. We're all excited. You know, it's been a rough a year. You know, the whole year has been, it's been crazy up and down yeah. with closing and, and opening and closing again and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be here. I'm happy. Yeah. yeah, and you know, the guidelines are constantly changing, right? A few things that have remained the same, and you have some signage up on the walls reminding customers, look, it's going to be a, a different, ex a little bit of a different experience because everyone's going to be required to wear a mask, right? right. Um, and social distance as much as you can. Right. I know you have hand sanitizers all over the place. But overall, you had one customer in here about 20 minutes ago. Right. What was that like for him? What did he say to you? What did you say to him? Well, I mean, he came in and he was, man, I've never seen anybody so happy in their life. <laughs> he, you know, he came in and, uh, you know, he was very excited to get his haircut. He hasn't gotten a cut in about six months, so I had a lot of work with. And, uh, but, you know, it, 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 every, I, I'm expecting everybody to come back, you know, our customers that, that, were, that were coming before, you know, they're, they're pretty faithful to us, and I'm happy for that. You know, I'm glad that you know they, they love the shop, and you know they're they're here to you know they're here to take care of us, and we're here to take care of them. You know. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of you know loving the shop, what a unique shop you have. I mean, just kind of take a look around. I want to uh, or have our viewers focus in on that picture. Tell me about this design. This picture is that like a skull? I think yeah. right. Yeah. It's a it's a king. You know, he's a king. Uh, I wanted to do something a little, little different, you know. Uh, when I first opened up Kings of Fades, you know, I wanted to give it a little twist to it, and uh, it probably took me about six months to eight months to get that done, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it's come a long way. That logo, yeah, it's come a long way. It, it's a great logo, a unique logo, and you know, you've had a pretty unique experience. I mean, you have been cutting hair and in this line of work for gosh, 15 years. You've owned uh, King of Fades at a different location, not too far away for uh, several years. And here you are, you're, you're here in this location for a year. Um, you know, overall, you know, how's your livelihood? I mean, it's been tough, especially with COVID, financials up and downs. And then on top of that, just life in general. Right. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been a up and down battle, you know. Uh, you know, starting from, uh, you know, I started at 15 years old uh, working at my brother's shop. And uh, I worked for him, his shop, for about eight years. And, uh, you know, I had to branch out, got my, my shop going. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's, it, it was been a, good, a good ride until the COVID hit. You know, I, we've never experienced anything like that before. You know, um, you know with, uh, you know, us not having to work, you know, just being at home and, you know, quarantining. And for months, it, it was something different, something that I've never experienced. Um, but... It, it, it's, it became the norm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now that we're here, it's like, you know, it, it's a blessing and, and we don't take anything for granted now. You know what I mean? We, we appreciate everything we have. You know, we have this. Oh, you thank God that we're, we're still here to, to work, you know, and, and we have business. But um, it's been, yeah, it's been, it's been a struggle. Wise word from King David. Wise words. D David, thank you so much for letting us come by and chat with you. King of Fades is back open for business here in National City. I mean, take your pick, right? But this is the type of business that not only have the owners been longing for, literally opening the doors, but also customers, as you heard earlier this morning. There, there's so much that comes with going to get your hair done, get your hair cut. Um, you know, it's, it's the bonding, the conversation. There's some sort of therapy that kind of happens at the same time, right? Because you tend to talk about just life in general with your, um, your stylist. So 
uh, support local businesses like uh, King David here, David uh, Martinez from King of Fades. And we'll have more as we go along on Good Morning San Diego. We'll send things back to you in the studio.